what I've done since I've changed the law, what's happened. I've changed it in a way that now you're in a situation where there are 40 percent fewer people coming across the border illegally. It's better than when he left office. And I'm going to continue to move until we get the total ban on the, 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 the total initiative relative to what we're going to do with more Border Patrol and more uh, asylum officers. President Trump? Uh, I really don't know what he said at the end of that sentence. I don't think he knows what he said either. Look, we had the safest border in the history of our country. The board, all he had to do was leave it. All he had to the do Democrats have made the decision to put the fact that they chose a bad candidate on that candidate. Even old Nancy Pelosi came out to say that it's up to Biden if he chooses to run. This is the newest Democrat talking point, as if they are not the very people who backed him and told donors to do the same. The media has been running with this bogus perspective pretty much since the debate happened. The debate made it very difficult for active Democrats to defend Biden, because the actual voters seem to be clearly saying he seemed out of it and like he should have a standing nurse to check on him every five minutes. Trump did not look spotless in the debate, but that was simply overshadowed by the Muppet with brain damage who was standing opposite to him. It was not really a debate because one of them did not appear to be really present. The other issue with Biden aside from age is his position on Israel that has made him a target of the pro-Palestinian left and the general anti-war left. I really do wonder if it's possible that Biden donors already see the writing on the wall, that he has soured with many of the middle-of-the-road and far-left voters the very base that played a role in him winning in 2020. It does seem like these Democrat donors have a reason to be worried because this very well might lose them the White House, and if that happens, they're preparing to, to completely blame Biden by using the claim that it was his choice. The problem is, no one actually believes that. We all know that donors and members of the elite Democrat establishment always have the final say of who their nominee is. Ask Bernie Sanders. Excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with, uh, look, if we finally beat Medicare. This is a short one. I hope you all enjoyed it. Consider subscribing, liking the video, and leaving a comment. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.